doctors at Children's Hospital are among the first in the nation to use 3D surgery models to change the face of a little girl with a very rare condition. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shows us the remarkable results of Lily's story. The first thing you notice about Lily, who is just two and a half years old, is a smile that steals your heart. Considering, I think she's doing great right now. Her great aunt Katrina and her mom Brandy, however, know that there was a time when they worried most not just about Lily's smile, but her whole face. I had a perfectly normal pregnancy, and uh, she was born at 37 weeks via C-section, and, you know, we didn't notice anything until she was born. What they noticed when Lily was born was what you see on this YouTube video, courtesy of Lily's surgery team. Changes in pigment or skin color on her face due to what's called linear nevus sebaceous syndrome. It's when uh, she was born, many of the parts of her body that would make uh, sweat glands or sebaceous glands uh, showed up in areas where we wouldn't expect them or they showed up really concentrated. This syndrome is so rare, Dr. Tom Sitzman told me it may be only in about 1 in 10,000 children. These birthmarks, as they're called, can cause other complications if they're not removed, such as skin cancer later in life. So in something that almost seems like a sci-fi movie, doctors put tissue expanders, which look like water balloons, under Lily's skin to stretch it. That way they could remove the stretched skin and use it to replace the areas with the birthmarks. They then created a 3D model and practiced the surgery on sort of a mask before they actually performed it. In Lily's case, we practiced five different surgical approaches to figure out the one that would work best for her. The one they chose has not only worked out great, but this 3D technology could change the face of surgery literally, not just for Lily, but for other kids with similar conditions forever. It's hard for me to talk about, but if it helps one child, then it's totally worth, you know, all of it. Part of the reason her family, however, wants to share her story is that she's just a darling little girl and growing well, and they've learned a lot about this condition. But when she was first born, that certainly wasn't the case. I think it was just meant to be, and, and I tell people, you know, it's, I would give anything for things to have worked out differently, but I wouldn't change who she is, you know, for anything. By the time she's five, we'll have her entire birthmark off, and she'll go on to live a normal, full life um, and uh, won't be held back in any way. Yeah.